Hello everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how to add a USB barcode scanner to either an existing or new HMI project. To get started, we'll open an instance of EasyBuilder Pro. During today's demonstration, I'll be using a YHDAA barcode scanner and a CMT3072 HMI. Although the driver that we're going to use today will work with any HMI that supports either a USB or serial interface. As my project opens, so will my system parameters. Although if you're working on an existing HMI project, you'll need to select the Home tab first and then open the system parameters. Within my system parameters, I'm going to select New Device slash Server. And then in front of Device Type, I'll select the drop down list and search for Barcode. And within our list, we'll select the barcode scanner slash keyboard driver. Towards the center, within our interface drop down menu, I'm going to select a USB interface. And then I'll select the settings button down below and configure the settings for my device. During this demonstration, I'll leave my timeout at 1 second and I'll change my byte limit to 40. Since we're not using a start code within our application, I'll leave this feature disabled. What I will change is the terminator. I'll set this to none. With our settings complete, we'll click OK and close our parameters. Now, we'll need to create the objects that will allow us to read and display data from our barcode scanner. Before we do this, let's discuss how our driver works. Because we don't have user-defined mapping that corresponds to our inputs, EasyBuilder Pro has predefined mapping that makes it extremely simple to add this device to your project. Barcode address 0, for example, will read our byte count. While barcode address 1 to some number n can be used to read and or display the data. Our result register utilizes result address 0 to display an error code when reading data. For bit objects, register flag address 0 displays the status of data reading. This bit will be turned off while data is being read and will remain on when the device is idle. Our reset register utilizes address 0 to reset or clear the data displayed within our objects. And our connection status register will utilize address 0 to show the status of device connection. With that said, let's go ahead and create our objects. On our display, you'll notice I now have several objects. I have an ASCII object set to barcode address 1, and it's configured to display 20 words of data. My byte count and result numeric objects are configured as shown. They both use address 0, but two different registers, and are both specified as 16-bit. In the top right corner, I have my connection status and flag bitlamp. Again, both are set to address 0. My reset bit can be found in the top left corner and is also set to address 0. You'll also notice I have an object that I haven't mentioned. This object is a toggle switch that can both read and write data to system bit LB9064. System bit LB9064 will allow you to alternate between a USB barcode scanner and a USB keyboard when you plan on using both within your project. With that configured, I'll download this to my 3072 and we'll scan some barcodes.
I've got VNC Viewer open, and with it, we can monitor the barcode input from our device. After scanning, we'll test our reset button. And with that, I hope you've learned a lot during this brief introduction to our barcode driver. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.